you know, within the first five for the contents page. Really? Yeah, real, real early, early and on. was the desire to go to the different periods? Did, uh, yeah. You went for that yourself? Or did oh, you yeah. Like I said, they didn't, on this, con on this, this gig was honey. I mean, they never said anything. This, this is who you're doing this time. No. And, yeah, I thought, I don't know where it came from, but I just thought, what period represents them the most to me? Of course, you know, the Berlin punk. And Ed Sullivan. All the Hamburg stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? The light's really nice over here. And, and the, you should probably, sorry. No, uh, no, no. You should probably preclude having me in any of these shots, unless we're just fooling around. Um, and the Ed Sullivan Theater, of course. Um, Sergeant Pepper, Magical Mystery Tour, either whatever that, you know, they're starting to trip on acid. And then, kind of like Abbey Road, everything's falling apart. And so he, George always kind of had, I had a feeling like washed out. And Paula, I always had a feeling total pop. Well, both of them. But anyway, yeah, that was fun. Is there one of the Beatles to hear that you enjoyed your rendering more than any of the other ones? John. Yeah. And it's because of John, I like John so John, yeah, well, he is the, John he is. is Dude, right? Yep. I don't, even though, I mean, in my eyes, all four of them are intensely enjoyable characters. Yeah. And, and yeah. they're all stronger as a whole. But in terms of being like Almont Rushmore, it would be John. Yeah. Kurt. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Everybody has their other choices, but these two are. Yeah, it's, it's very true. I mean, and it's like that with any musical uh, guys that are related in any band. There's always going to be one. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. True. Uh, yeah, Pete's awesome. You get into a bit of a, an, an argument with the two of those guys, though. That's true. They are really like a one and one and one A, or you know, one A and one B, or yeah. whatever way you want to look at that. And, yeah. And I think this is fun. Collectively, most folks are huge fans of Keith Richards in the way that they could never be of uh, of Mick Jagger, only because of his accessibility. Everybody. Who doesn't like Keith Richards' you know, brand of weirdness? He's so fun. Uh, but this is easily the, I think, the most amusing caricature that I've ever seen done of these guys. This was Germany. For the Deutschland. Thing. This was um, German Vanity Fair. I always feel a lot of freedom when I'm working in Germany. This is also Germany. I'm trying to remember, this is Sedeutsche Zeitung, I think. I don't know if I said that right. You know what I love about this one? The fact that I was on this side able to get everything in just a few strokes, and then, I mean this side too, but, but this is like really on that edge between 2D and 3D. Not often I can do that, but I love it when it happens. You enjoy painting? 